story, what we have learned about the story of the Avatar sequels throughout the years, and what themes is Cameron interested in exploring. So let's get started. For starters, on his takeaway from the first film, James Cameron had this to say. I think that the lesson for me from the first film that I've applied to the new films is that the more fantastic the imagery, the more otherworldly, and the more you are pushing out to the edge of what's possible in terms of bringing imaginative imagery to the screen, the more it has to be grounded in relationship and in truth and in heart. And so I'm hopefully doing that in spades with the new films. While the first movie was ambitious in its storytelling, it sounds like the franchise is set to get even bigger as it heads into the future. With a reported budget of a billion dollars for the sequels, there is some serious money being pumped into the world of Avatar. It was never going to be easy to follow in the footsteps of the first Avatar, and Cameron went on to say that he is feeling the pressure of crafting the sequel. It doesn't matter how much you dress it up with great production design and great visual effects. If the story is not working, if you don't connect to the characters, it's just simply not going to work. I found myself as a father of five starting to think about what would an Avatar story be like if it was a family drama. If it was the Godfather. Obviously very different genre, very different story. But I got intrigued by that idea. So that's really what it is. It's a generational family saga, and that's very different from the first film. This time, Cameron had brought on a group of writers to help him chart out the full story for these next four movies. Saying, when I sat down to write the sequels, I knew there were going to be three at the time and eventually turned into four. I put together a group of writers and said, I don't want to hear anybody's new ideas or anyone's pitches until we have spent some time figuring out what worked on the first film, what connected, and why it worked. They kept wanting to talk about the new stories. I said, we aren't doing that yet. Eventually, I had to threaten to fire them because they were doing what writers do, which is to try and create new stories. I said, we need to understand what the connection was and protect it, protect that ember, and that flame. When specifically talking about Avatar 2, producer John Landau explained, this is the story of the Soli family and what one does to keep their family together. He then went on to say, Jake and Atiri have a family in this movie. They are forced to leave their home. They go out and explore the different regions of Pandora, including spending quite a bit of time on the water, around the water, in the water. I think why do people turn to entertainment today more so than ever? I think it's to escape, to escape the world we're in, to escape the other pressures they have in their lives. I think with Avatar, we have an opportunity to allow people to escape to an incredible world with incredible characters that they will follow, in much the same way as Peter Jackson was able to do with The Lord of the Rings. So that's what we're looking to do here. The Solis, still living on Pandora, are once again forced with RDA mining operations threatening their existence, forcing Jake to take his family to what is perceived as a safe harbor at the reef. And when you get to the reef, there's a clan we call the Metikaina. The Solis are no longer in their environment that they know, the rainforest. They become the fish out of water. They become the fish out of water both culturally and and just environmentally. But some tension is also said to come from within the Soli family, which stems from their adopted human son named Mao Socorro, or Javier Socorro, it, I've seen different reports, aka Spider, played by Jack Champion. Miles was born on a military base on Pandora and was too small to make the trek back to Earth, so he was adopted by Jake and Atiri. Jake took him in, but Neytiri always saw him as one of the people who destroyed her home and killed her father. So you have all these dynamics playing out. Aside from all the new elements, it has also been confirmed that flashbacks will play a role. It's not known how much time we'll spend in the past, but we know that at least one scene will take place at Site-26 Shack from the first film, as posted on Twitter by John L